Hello and welcome to the Daily Coaching Lockdown Football Training Session. So today's session number 31 and today I have four key parts to our session for you. So first of all, we're going to start off with a warm-up, then we're going to move into two different ball mastery exercises, then finishing up with a fun pull-down challenge, okay? We'll be focused on a bit of technique, a bit of creativity and an opportunity to develop some skills and some touches, okay? Cool. So for our warm-up, all you need is a space, you need a ball and you need three objects. Now I've got cones, but again, if you don't have access to cones, get your hands on anything from jumpers to jackets to trainers, toilet rolls, cans, anything you can um, get your hands on around from the house. Okay, but once you've got your space, once you've got your three objects, and once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Cool, so for this warm-up, what you're going to do is you're going to set out your three objects like so, okay? So they're going in a straight line and they've got a space in between each one. What you're going to do as well is make sure that your three objects, the starting point of them, is away from the end or the edge of the space which you have available to you, okay? That's going to be your starting area. Now with this warm-up exercise, it's a really good one for us physically, um, but there'll be movements without the ball and movements with the ball, okay? So we'll get a combination of the two. Now what's going to happen is you start on the opposite end, so the furthest point away from the space you have available to you, you're going to dribble to the first one, stop it, run back, dribble to the second, stop it, run back, dribble to the third, stop it, run back, pick up the ball, and go back to the beginning again, okay? Then again, you'll just repeat that motion. So I'm going to do it a few times, you can go for about 30 seconds to a minute and see how many times you can take the ball, okay? So dribble to the first one, stop it, run back, to the second one, stop it, run back, Pushing the ball back 
down to the second one, came back down to the first, okay? But the key thing here, move with the ball, keep it under control, left foot, right foot, different parts of the feet to do that, okay? Take it with you, and stop the ball. Without the ball, change the speed, change your direction, okay? Explosive change of speed, rapid change of direction, okay? We have to get us back to a start, then back to the ball, all right? Give it a try, good, really good physical one, okay? Gets us nice and warm, okay? And also a little bit out of breath, okay? So, try not to get for too long. Remember, 30 second repetitions, do it a couple of times, okay? Um, and then you're ready to move on to the next activity. Cool, give it a go, see how you get on. Cool, so that was our warm up. So, remember, some of the key points to take away from the warm up is that there was lots of movements either A, with the ball, or B, without the ball, okay? Movements with the ball, we were really focused on making sure that the ball was under control, thinking about how we move the ball using our left foot, right foot, different parts of the feet, okay? take it to its next stop along our journey. And then movements without the ball, it was all about changes of speed, so quick changes of speed or rapid changes of direction, okay? To be able to get us back to the start and then again back um, to go and collect the ball again, okay? So really good effective exercise for um, our warm up. okay? Getting lots of touches on the ball, variation of different touches to keep it under control and actually move it um, towards different targets or towards different destinations. Um, and also again, a very good one physically as well because we're making lots of movements without the ball and really quick changes the speed and direction so it gets us nice and prepared and ready for our exercises. Cool, now we're gonna move into our ball mastery exercise and for this one you need a space, you need five objects, so keep three of the objects which you had from before and get your hands on another two objects and you need a ball. So once you've got your space, once you've got your five objects, once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Cool, so for this ball mastery exercise, okay, it's all about exploring different movements using different parts of the feet, okay, both our left foot, right foot, and combining all those movements together, okay, and adding in a little bit of change in of our direction as well. So what I've done, we've got to set the five objects up like so, okay, so it's creating a nice little right angle, almost like a bit of a corner, okay. And what's gonna happen is you start down one end, so I'm gonna start down into another bit, get up into my left foot or my right foot, totally um, applying this one to you. Okay, so the key thing is keeping the ball under control as close as you can to the outside of this area, okay? What's gonna happen is go on the outside, once I get to the cone um, just at the end, and then stop the ball under control, change my direction, come back, back to the beginning, stop it, change my direction, and I'm just gonna keep on going in this motion of going around the outside of this shape, okay? So three, two, one, and go. So we go about 20 seconds to a minute, okay? Keep the ball close. Changing direction, using different parts of our feet. Control. Times I might read really tight, close control. Times maybe we have to push the ball forward a bit further. Okay, trying to avoid making contact with those objects. We're just getting loads of repetition again, using different parts of the feet. Okay, really thinking about the tight, close control and change our direction around that corner object to corner thing. Thank you. 
Then on the inside, okay, then around the outside of um, the object all together, okay? So going around and back in, around, back in, and so on, okay? And the key thing with this is that there's no wrong or right way to move the ball, okay? Except we really want to see a variation and combination of inside of the feet, outside of the feet, left foot, right foot, sole, and laces, okay? Just to understand how to keep the ball under control, move the ball, and take it with us on the journey, okay? And as you can see in this journey, not a massive space, but lots of um, tight, close controlled um, changes of direction, okay? Around the outside, around the inside, okay? And at times you may kick the ball, times you may roll the ball, okay? Your decision. But just become comfortable and confident in actually executing different variations of movements to get around this course. See how you get on, give it a try. Cool, so that was our first ball mastery exercise. Now some of the key points to take away from that exercise is that there was a big focus on keeping the ball under control, moving the ball, so understanding how to actually do that, perform those movements, okay, and taking it with us on our journey. But the reason why it was a ball mastery exercise is that it was really trying to understand how to master these movements, okay? So traveling the ball in different directions, um, changing our speed on the ball, changing the type of touches in which we're taking, okay, and keeping a tight, close control of the ball as well. And that's why we tried to combine um, both of our feet, our left foot, right foot, inside, outside, sole of the foot, and laces as well, okay, to really try and understand how to master um, these movements 
to try and get us around um, the area in which we were trying to travel to. Okay, so obviously first we started looking by going around the outside of the area, okay, thinking about using the outside of the foot to maybe push the ball into a new direction, okay, then we started focusing on the inside, um, inside of the area, so we're really trying to focus on how to maybe um, change the direction of our body shape, okay, and adjust our body to be able to travel with the ball in a new direction, and then obviously when we was going all around the outside of the shape, okay, all around the whole area which we had laid out, okay, key thing there was thinking about how do we combine what we've done in the first part and the second part and then really try and execute it in this final part as well, okay? Like I said, in, during the exercise as well, more advanced players, think about how you can keep that ball moving around. Um, younger age groups, less advanced players, maybe just thinking about stopping the ball and then changing or adjusting your body to face a new direction in which you need to travel, okay? But again, with that one, key thing is repetition. Repetition to understand how these different parts of the feet, um, using our left foot, right foot, will have different outcomes and affect the movement of the ball and the movement in which we're trying to travel with with the ball as well, okay? To try and travel on that journey. Cool, now we're gonna move into our second ball master exercise. And for this one, all you need is a space and a ball, okay? So once you've got your space and once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Right, so for this ball master exercise, okay, all you need is your space and your ball. Now what we're gonna focus on is lots of repetition in practicing a certain technique, okay? And ultimately what we're doing is we're changing the direction of our movement and the direction of the movement of the ball as well, okay? So what's gonna happen? Start at one end of the space which you have available to you. You're gonna take little touches to the opposite side. Once you reach the opposite side, you're gonna bring your foot around, hook your foot around the ball, and knock it back into the opposite direction, okay? Then come back to the start, and then repeat that movement um, a number of times, all right? So little touches, hook your foot around, your back, okay? Little touches, hook your foot around, bring back, And as you'll see at the moment, I'm only using one foot just to become comfortable and confident in executing this technique. Okay, this about 30 seconds. The important thing is as well, I did mention this in the last one when I my left foot, but how quickly you react and change your direction as well, okay? Because you want to get your body in front of that ball so you're protecting it from the dangers behind, okay, from the defenders. A couple more. Short, sharp go, okay. However, 
practice, 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 okay? Lots of repetition in doing this, okay? Getting more comfortable, more confident, and more opportunities to actually execute this movement, all right? Using both our left and our right foot. Once you master the actual movement, okay? Then it's about the explosive movement to move your leg round and hook it around the ball, okay? And the explosive movement to actually get away if you have that space available to you. Give it a try, lots of repetition, become comfortable on your left and your right foot, okay? Remember to get your body um, turned as well quickly so we're protecting the ball from a defender and we can think about that explosive movement away into a space. Give it a try, see how you get Cool, so that was our second ball mastery exercise and some of the key points to take away from that, okay, is very similar to previous exercise where we focused on ball mastery and we're looking at a particular technique or a skill, okay, repetition is key. Okay, it's really important that we look to try and repeat on our left foot and our right foot, really trying to become comfortable and confident in performing this movement and actually executing it, okay? So performing it is all about understanding the type of touches that we'll take um, leading up to the actual technique or skill. Okay, and then once we're actually executing the technique or skill, it's thinking about the change of direction and the changes of speed and which part of the feet do we actually use to do so, okay? So practicing on your left foot and right foot will definitely help you to become more confident, confident and comfortable in actually executing this movement, okay? And again, as you do become more comfortable and confident then you can start thinking about adding more um, actual realistic movements so in terms of quicker changes of direction and more explosive movements to actually break away cool now we're going to move into our cool down challenge okay our fun cool down challenge and for this what you're going to need you need a space you're going to need a ball and you're also going to need a flat surface okay but good advice here we're going to get to sit down in this one okay so it's quite a relaxing one so once you've got your space once you've got your ball once you've got your flat surface we're ready to go Cool, so for this cool down challenge, what you're going to do, um, quite a relaxing one, again, we're kind of focusing on a bit more of the technique side of things, okay? Um, but really just trying to execute a bit of a skill as well, okay? So what's gonna happen is you start in front of your flat surface, and for this one, please know that you sit on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna sit on the floor, like so, okay, so you're gonna be in a sit-up position, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna throw the ball on my flat surface, and I'm gonna control it using either my left, on my right foot. And by control, all I'm doing is basically making sure the ball doesn't bounce back up. Okay, so I throw the ball on my flat surface, touch it, bring it down under control, throw it, touch it, ball, bring it under control, throw it, touch it, bring it under control. And just be creative, okay, with how you might do this. Um, as you can see, okay, I'm just making sure that basically the ball stops from bouncing away from me. At the moment, it's actually quite hard in terms of actually the ball stopped dead under control. Okay, so I'm just knocking it back into my hands. Making sure it doesn't get too far away, I'm creative. I'm going to find the break mark if I can. There we go. Go again. Well, not quite. Again, this is what I mean, it's a cool down one, okay? So, no real explosive movement. Opportunity to be creative. Think about, there we go, how you might stop this ball and get it under control. Okay, at times it work, at times it might not. Good creative one here. A couple more. You're then going to kick it against your flat surface, okay? So, like this, a bit better than that, a bit more power, and then control it, okay? Walk in there, kick, walk, drop down again, and then go start on the floor, kick, control, kick. Need a bit more power behind the ball. Feel free to do so. There we go. Oh, we'll do it on there. Okay. Instead, you might try and keep it up. Oh. And yeah, try and control it and stop it. There we go. Control it. 
Okay, nothing too explosive, it's fun, it's relaxing, it's developing skills, developing techniques, okay, um, and there's no right or wrong in this one, okay, as you saw, I actually, if I say no right or wrong, didn't get quite a lot of um, routine, rhythm or repetition going um, for quite a few of the goes, okay, but again, as you do it more often, the more comfortable, more confident you become, okay, and actually, I managed to get higher than two, which I got from quite, first, quite a few of the first goes, and I managed to get up to six, okay, then it went a little bit downhill afterwards, but, Really important this one, okay? You just have fun with it, you try and explore, and you try and be as creative as possible, okay? It's a fun, cool down challenge, nothing too explosive, okay? And you can do it for as long as you want, okay? Um, you might even be there all night if you want to try and keep them beating your score. But give it a try, nice one to end the session, lots of fun, see how you get on. Cool, so that's the end of session 31. So just very quickly to recap on some of today's key points, okay? So today we focus on movement with the ball and techniques as well, okay? So movement with the ball, almost combined a little bit with our techniques of really trying to understand and develop a certain way in being able to move the ball, okay? And being able to react um, using different parts of the feet, left foot, right foot, um, appropriately to the um, demands and the outcomes in which we're trying to achieve and with each of our exercises, okay? So repetition is key within that, okay? We're making lots of repetitive movements today, whether it was with the ball movement, okay? Just really focus on how to keep the ball under control, how to move the ball, how to take it with us on our journey. And obviously when we're looking at more technique-based exercises, okay, lots of repetition because I mentioned that at times things will work and at times things may not work, okay? And that's absolutely fine. The more you repeat something, the more comfortable and confident you'll become, okay, actually being able to execute and perform that technique or movement. So if things go wrong, not a problem at all, okay? The more times you repeat it, um, the better uh, equipped you'll become at being able to actually develop um, and actually execute those movements or those techniques in which we're looking for. Okay, cool. That's the end of today's session. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please, as always, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, and interact with the video. 
Let us know how you get on, share some of that good feedback. Let us know any types of sessions in which you wanna see coming up and we'll try and make sure that we get them involved. But as always, good luck with the sessions. I hope you enjoy them. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, see you soon, goodbye.